Gadgets, and you'll be reviewing Obi-Wan Kenobi Episode 4. This episode came out today and stars Ewan McGregor as Obi-Wan Kenobi. Now before we start, hit the like button, subscribe to the post notification bell so you know if you're for a video, let's just start. Let's start talking about the good. So the opening recap of the previous episode, I thought it was good. It gives all the information of that previous episode in the beginning of this episode so that you actually understand what happens throughout this entire episode. Um, the opening sequence, I also thought it was good. Um, there, it's a mini cameo of K2SO, um, sort of droid, and Obi-Wan is rescued and then he's finally put into the tank. And I thought it was a good opening sequence. Um, there are also great interactions and interrogation sequences between Leia and the third sister. There are about three interrogation sequences, and I think all of them are handled very well. Um, there are also some great underwater sequences with Obi-Wan swimming into the Inquisitor layer. I really enjoyed the underwater sequences. They were filmed very, very well, of course, better than the Phantom Menace's underwater sequences. But the underwater sequences were filmed very well. Um, the, there's also a great scene with Obi-Wan and Tala trying to find Leia. Obi-Wan and Tala are trying to find Leia throughout, I would say, 15 to 20 minutes in this entire episode. Um, and I thought it worked very well. Um, there's also a great sequence where the third sister nearly punches Leia very, very harshly. That is one of the most um, horrific sequences in Obi-Wan Kenobi so far, with the third sister attempting to punish um, a little child. And this is what the Empire does. This is what the Empire should do. This, well, obviously not should do, but this is what makes the Empire scary. And I think that if they would have used some of this of course, and put it into the sequel trilogy. I think it could. I think it could have been much better, but they didn't, and that was the result. Um, there's also a creepy sequence where Obi-Wan sees bodies, which are supposedly Jedi, stuck inside this yellow jelly. Um, it was very creepy, and I thought it worked for Obi-Wan Kenobi. Um, there's also a great scene where Obi-Wan Kenobi finally saved Leia from um, the Inquisitors, and I thought it was very well done. Um, there's an awesome scene with Obi-Wan fighting off stormtroopers. Obi-Wan fights off stormtroopers, and it is awesome. Um, he's deflecting lasers. He's fighting off droids. One of the best sequences of this TV show so far. Um, there's also an awesome sequence where a rebel ship saves Obi-Wan, Leia, and Tala. It arrives out of nowhere um, and saves them. And I think it worked because the person who's uh, flying the ship, uh, of course, they knew them before this episode. Um, there's also an awesome sequence where Vader enters the Inquisitor lair and chokes the third sister and Darth Vader has a conversation with her. Easily, easily a great sequence. Um, one of the best sequences of the episodes um, so far. And Darth Vader is Darth Vader. I really enjoyed the way that they portrayed Darth Vader in this TV show. Hayden Christensen is fantastic as Darth Vader. Um, and the ending sequence, I thought it was great. Uh, Lola supposedly has Empire's Tracker in it. And Lola's that little robot that Leia has, and it supposedly has an Empire Tracker in it, which I thought was a great reveal. That's about it. There's nothing bad about this episode. Obi-Wan Kenobi Episode 4 is a great episode and a great continuation of Kenobi, and I highly recommend it, and I'm going to give Obi-Wan Kenobi Episode 4 an A. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the post notification, we'll see you next time for a video. I'm Peter. Thank you for watching.